oh hello, it's nice of you to drop in. In this short video, I will show you how to generate mains power voltages in the event of a power cut. Whether it be 115 or 230 volts, that's irrelevant. This information is also given on my home pages. The link is at the bottom of the screen. But if you want to find my home pages, you can always Google for me, Harry Lythol or SM0VPO. You can assemble the power generator in just five minutes, but first of all, a word of warning. This video shows you how to generate potentially lethal voltages. If you cannot handle these voltages, then stop now. This film is not for the inexperienced. If you kill yourself, then don't come crying to me. You have been warned. As I said, you can assemble this power generator in just five minutes, assuming you have all the components to hand, but you do not even need a soldering iron. You already have the power available if you have got a car, or if you've got car batteries kicking around. What we are going to build today is called a multi-vibrator. Now you're going to need a few hand tools. Drippers, wire cutters, pliers. In addition to the basic hand tools, you're going to need a few extra items. You'll need a bit of stout paper or card. I'm going to use one of my QSL cards. I've got hundreds of them. You'll need a two pole connector block. You're going to need two power transistors like 2N3055. They will do just perfectly. You can use almost any high power NPN power transistor. You're going to need two resistors of 680 ohms, 1.5 watts. If you haven't got that, you can use ordinary half watt resistors, 2.2K, six of them, and parallel them in tools. You're going to need a transformer with a split secondary. This is a mains to 12012 transformer. Here I've got a mains to 20, naught 20. The primary voltage should have the mains voltage that you want to generate. With my 2020 transformer, I'm going to use it backwards to convert 24 volts from my batteries into 230 volts with about 200 watts of power available. Now, you're going to need a power distribution block, but remove the plug. Plug. You'll need suitable batteries. I'm going to use my 24 volts, but you can take the battery out of the card. If you've got two cards, great, you've got 24 volts. The higher the DC voltage and the higher the voltage transformer, then the more efficient it will be. Oh yes, you're going to need a bag of alligator clips. Begin by connecting the power distribution block to the transformer primary winding using the connector block. Make four holes in the card to suit the legs of the transistors and feed the transistor legs through the holes. The next step is to connect the two 680 ohm resistors, one to each transistor base lead. Open the bag of leads and connect the battery negative to each transistor emitter using two black leads. Negative emitter. Use two yellow leads to connect the resistors to the opposite transistor collector, which is also the transistor can. Right hand transistor base to left hand transistor can. Left hand transistor base to right hand transistor can. 
connect each transistor collector to a 12 volt or 24 volt lead over the transformer using white leads. Transistor can, transistor can. All we need to do now is connect the transformer secondary centre tap to the battery positive. If all is well, you'll be greeted with a low pitched buzzing sound. If you want to know more about generating your own power, then take a look at my home pages and select Power Supply Projects and see the article on Alternative Power. Now, those projects are just the beginning. There will be more to come in the future. So, thank you for watching this video and I hope that you have learned something from it. Good luck and be careful with those high voltages. They can kill. All I need now is a power cut. Goodbye.